Hmm. Can't believe later on. Natural Chris Kennedy Christmas. I said I can't wait to see one of the Jinx twins go up against one of the Divacons. Who? Oh! Who? Oh! What about the Kennedy Cons? The greatest band that ever lived. They will be hitting record stores soon. Anyway, what? coming down. Anyway, coming down to the ring is Master Boo Boo's main squeeze and former MWE Women's Champion she is the juicy one Juicy Lucy Lucy got some planet to do go away anyway Michelle you might not know I'm um, Juicy Lucy but in a way she used to she used to be um, very cool until this sudden change in attitude as you can clearly see yeah. Like any of us But just so you people know, this is a triple threat match. Because it's like this. If neither Roxy Darkheart or Juicy Lucy is able to pin the champion in this elimination match, one of them might become the new number one contender for the MWE Extreme Women's Championship. But, if Phoenix Blacksmith is able to survive both Roxy Darkheart and Juicy Lucy, then on the next MWE Satin, we're gonna have Roxy go up against Lucy to see who will become the number one contender. Come the next CPV, Chaotic Delights. It's a it's a diva um only CPV by the way. Hmm, just what we need. More uncaring divas on a CPV. Just have Chris Kennedy sit in the chair in the middle of the ring, cutting a speech. That's enough to make pay-per-view buy. Yeah, tell that to the tell that to the guys in TNA. They they're hopeless. They are just hopeless. Now don't even bring those people Anyway, up. they'll be the leader of Roxy's dungeon, Roxy Darkheart, one of the competitors in this triple threat match, and both of them will be going up against this woman, the current MWE Extreme Women's Champion, the Angel of Extreme, Phoenix Blacksmith. Chris Kennedy, where are you? Come on out! Get your title! Cut shit in your money the It's right there! Go ahead! Do it! Do it! Do it! Um, Patriot? Just so you know, your your um savior will have a match after this. So in other words, you better get you better ready not to be lying. You lied to me a thousand times tonight that she would be out there! She better be out there! She will be out there on the uh, uh, after this. But anyway, here comes Juicy Lucy. Oh man, going after Roxy Darkheart. I mean, not Juicy Lucy going after Roxy Darkheart. Phoenix Blacksmith. Hmm, Michelle, you seem a bit silent. Uh, Patriot bores me, so I was just ignoring him. Hey, hey! Not I'm bad of a senton on the Roxy Darkheart. Phoenix you know Blacksmith what? is showing everyone why she's called the Angel of Extreme and why that she is the um, MW Extreme Women's Champion. Oh, man, I'm gonna make a prediction. Shot. On the... Can I make a prediction? I believe, no. I believe a diva is going to win and a diva is going to lose, and a third one will not be picked. Good job, Patriot. I'm sure no one would have figured that out. You say a hey, diva? Which one? They have names. Uh, diva number three. We'll go with that. So you're going with Phoenix Blacksmith. Who? You said Diva number three, right? Diva number three is Phoenix Blacksmith, the MWE okay, Extreme Women's Champion. I changed my vote. Diva number 15. Do you see Diva number no, 15 just... in this match? Anyway, going for a hurricane round of pin. Just ignore it. him. You only got two. Just, just ignore him. You know what? That's what, That's what I do. I just ignore him. Um, Don't worry, do that your life. Just so you know, Chris Kennedy's match is coming up next after this. Ooh, ooh man, Juicy Lucy and Phoenix, double DDT on the Roxy Darkheart, showing off some sexiness, in which was a bad idea. Ooh, not bad of a sig by, by um Phoenix Blacksmith. Uh oh, team up. Nope, never mind. Nope, not a team, not a team. Ba ba ba. Anyway, Irish whip to the corner. I'm about to go for the pin here. Get free count it. One, two, three. That's it. Two. That's over. Get around. Darn it, Patriot. 
if you if you want to um be with Chris Kennedy, please be with Chris Kennedy because our match is coming up next after this. I'll wait until there is a victor. Wait, there is a victor. This, this match should be over. The referee is biased. Mainly I call for the threat elimination match, and it seems Roxy Darkheart is eliminated. Oh, oh, thank God. Phoenix Blacksmith I trying to go for a high risk move, but to no avail. And now it's Juicy Lucy versus Phoenix Blacksmith. Now it's going to be like this. If Juicy Lucy is able to pin the champion, she will become number one contender. If not, like I said on the next Satin, it will be Juicy Lucy versus Roxy Darkheart to see who will become the number one contender for the MW Extreme Women's Championship. <laughs> not bad of a clothesline on to the, um, so she floor. Kennedy's claws. Another no! swanton by Phoenix Blacksmith. I call bias! This company is biased towards the greatest! This this company is disgusting and deplorable! No wonder they're wrestling in bingo halls! They're wrestling in garages! You wouldn't dare say that to Phoenix Blacksmith. She Whoa. took that very steel chair that she was about to use on Juicy Lucy and wrap it around that all-American, American, American head of yours. Snap. I agree, we should have that happen. Either that or she'll get a man to sit on it while she do, does dirty things. Anyway, only got two. Only got two. Juicy Lucy was this close to becoming number one contender, but instead gets hit with that Pele kick right on the noggin. And now going for a moonsault on Juicy Lucy. Chris Kennedy's moonsault that you stole! Does it look like the Icon Salt? It looked exactly like it! She stole it! Except the only difference is hers, Chris Kennedy's that is, does more damage! Well, the baloney, anyway. Yeah, that, 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 let me guess, Patriots, the Patriot Act. Let me guess, you're getting deported in five, four, three. Yeah, I'm not getting deported, you idiots. Hey, where, wait, where'd she go? Again, uh, she got deported. Long time. Citizenship. She got deported just now. Thank you, thank you to whoever deported. Anyways, deport. Swanton onto the cold concrete floor, and it looks like it looks like Phoenix is about to throw her back in the ring where she belongs. <laughs> Elbow to the head. Greatly done by Phoenix Blacksmith. Now, Ray's opinion, she might become one of the greatest MWA Extreme Women's Champions of all time. Not until Chris Kennedy has something to say about it! Yep, sure. But anyway, now she has the steel chair. Let's see what she got planned. But Juicy Lucy, she can use that steel chair over and with over steel again. Chair. With the steel chair! That's cheating! That is disgraceful! With the... You can't win without a steel chair. Disgusting. And what is she doing? Why'd she flip off her? She's about to go for a patented finisher. The third degree on Juicy Lucy. And now she's about to go for the cover here. Referee's counting it. One, One two, three. Two, Thank you. We're done. Three. And now Patriot, you go to, to her locker room and get and get Christy Icon Kennedy ready for a match because it's up next. And you go in the locker room and get the pictures off of you and go and put on some normal clothes. Thank you. Goodbye. Anyway, Phoenix thank God. Blacksmith. Anyway, Phoenix Blacksmith put in a put in a great effort in this match. Juicy Lucy did too, but for some reason Juicy Lucy wasn't able to come out with the win. So, as I said before, it's going to be Juicy Lucy versus Roxy Darkheart for the number one contendership for the MWE Extreme Women's Championship. Anyways, we will be right back with Chris Kennedy's match against Megan Stark. Do not go anywhere. <laughs> 